Here's problem two. It says the graph of line J is shown. So here's this graph of line J. It gives us a point right here of negative four, negative four, and a point right here at three, negative one. It says which ratio represents the slope of the line parallel to line J? Now don't let that fool you. Ratio represents it. It's just saying, hey, what's the slope? And it's saying ratio because in this case it's not a nice pretty two over one, which gives us two. It's, it's some fractional part. That's all it's saying. So we want the slope of this. Well, the slope, if you remember, we rise with the y's, with the y's, and run to the exit. Remember, it's the change in my y's or my change in my x's. I could also do it in this case, since it gives me a picture, rise over run, which let's do that. Right here's the point. So we're going to rise one, two, three. So it rose three, ran over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So the rise is 3, the run is 7, it's going positive up to the right, so it's going to be 3 sevenths, which is choice A, right there. If it had just given us points, we would have had to use this change of y's divided by change of x's. And all we would do is we'd subtract our y's, which in this case, we would go negative 4 minus that y, negative 1, over the change in x's, negative 4 minus that x, 3. Notice this changes to a plus, which gives you negative 3, because that's a plus 1. Negative 4 plus 1 is a negative 3. Negative 4 minus 3 is a negative 7. Negative divided by negative is just going to go away, and you'd get the same answer. We just have this expression, rise with the y's and run to the exit, because if you have a picture, you can do rise of a run, but if you don't, if you just have the points given to you, it's simply the change in your y's over the change in your x's. Either way, problem two, the answer is A, 3 sevenths is the slope of that line.